All right, guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be talking about uh, some more about solutions. And I have a few different things out in front of us today. I've got a few beakers, I have uh, a thermometer, and then I have some ice. And what we wanna do is take a look at how dissolving different things in water will affect some of its traits and properties. So the first thing we want to do is kind of get a baseline. And what we're going to be taking a look at is temperature here. So we've got our thermometer showing uh, the room is about 20.6 degrees Celsius. We're going to be using this temperature probe here and we have a beaker. And the idea is what we want to do is basically let a piece of ice melt. So we're going to take a look at the temperature of plain old, clean, pure ice. So if we go ahead and we pull an ice cube out of this and we drop it into the beaker, what we want to do is stir for a little bit and take a look at what the temperature of this would be when it's melted. Our goal here is to basically see how cold this thing can get. What's the lowest, about the lowest we go? So we see that it's decreasing now, and when it looks like it's reaching a constant temperature, we'll go ahead and uh, record that value. Getting us starting to get a little puddle of water there. Sometimes you gotta stir it up a bit just to get that thing to start dissolving. We're still dropping in temperature. And we don't need to go until the ice is completely gone, just until we see a constant value happening here. So it looks like we're kind of hanging out at between 2.5, 2.6. It's trying to drop down, but it's kind of popping back up to 2.6. So let's go ahead and say that plain old ice will dissolve. See, now we're starting to even go up a, a, a bit again. Let's say that it likes to hang out around 2.6 degrees Celsius. That's about as cold as just plain old ice melting is gonna get. Okay, so we'll record that. Find myself a pencil here so I have a record of it. All right, now the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look and see how this changes if we make a solution. So for this particular one, we can see that I have uh, some material in the bottom. Right now, this is a, an ionic solid. We have sodium chloride is what this is coming from. So I want to go ahead and try and pick a very similar size piece of ice, try and keep some of these variables the same. So this one seems about the same. And uh, we're going to go ahead and drop that in there. And we're going to let this dissolve so we can see that it's, you know, it's going to mix. As it melts a little bit, it's going to make some liquid, which should in turn dissolve our crystal. So we're going to go ahead and put this in and begin stirring here and see if it does better or worse when it makes a solution. Lay down here. Okay, so it looks like sodium chloride, when this solution is forming, we're able to get quite a bit colder. And it's happening quite a bit faster too. 
let's see how low we can get with this. All right, it looks like we're kind of hanging out right around there now. And a little bit further. Still going. I'm gonna call it, I think. Let's, uh, negative six point, ooh. I think point nine is the lowest I've seen it go. So, oh, it has to prove me wrong. I'm gonna go negative seven degrees. Okay, so for the next piece, what we're going to be doing is um, trying to look and see, now that we know how solutions react to cold temperatures, let's take a look and see how solutions react to warm. So what do we think? Do you think, um, well, we know that they made our solutions get colder. What do you think is gonna happen with the heat? Is it gonna get hotter? Is it gonna be colder than usual? Is it gonna stay the same compared to water? So what I'll do is I'm going to take 100 grams or 100 milliliters of pure water and we're going to put that on a hot plate and then we're going to take 100 grams or 100 milliliters of a solution so let's just make a solution real quick let's go ahead and uh let's just put a couple of scoops in here i'm just going to hurry up and put put in a couple of scoops that's probably funny we'll just do that um well let's do a little more it's always fun Okay, so we got lots in there. So let's record that number. All right, so we've got our grams. Let's go ahead and get the liquid in there. So we're gonna get 100 milliliters, which is 100 grams. Remember that grams and milliliters is the same thing when it comes to water. So we're just gonna kind of, oh, I just spilled it. What a mess. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and move over to our hot plate. We're going to put both of these things on the hot plate. And we're going to see how the solution reacts to heat. Is it going to do the same thing as the cold? Is it going to is it going to get even colder? And what we will do this is we'll take it all the way up to boiling. So I'm going to step away for a little bit. We're going to let this thing get nice and hot. And when it's boiling, we'll come back and we'll take a couple of temperatures. All right. So we've got both of our solutions boiling at this point. Um, I have two different thermometers that we're going to place into them and uh, make our observation. Um, so let's go ahead and get them in the water. Okay, and we're gonna give them a second to uh, get where they need to be. Now, when we move over to the thermometer here, what I did to help keep things straight is I color-coded them on the screen. So this is showing up uh, at the angle we're at kind of as a, a black color. When I hold it up, we could see that it's blue. I figured blue really makes it seem like uh, the color of water. So this one is actually our beaker on the left, our pure water. And then this one is the beaker on the right, which is our solution. So we're using blue for the pure and red for the solution. So we can see that we have a pretty significant difference here between the solution and the pure water.